In today's video, I'm reviewing Double Pug Switch. Now this was developed by the Polygon Loft and published by Apriori Digital. Double Pug Switch is a challenging but easy to learn single player 2D precision platformer take control of Otis the Pug, the loyal companion of the Professor. After an accident in the Professor's lab involving the mischievous cat Whiskers and some portal fluids, Otis and Whiskers are sucked into an alternate dimension. You need to hop, dimension swap and navigate your way through four unique dimensions to chase down Whiskers and save him from his evil wrongdoings. When I first booted this up, it took me a few attempts to get used to switching between the two dogs. You need to try and stay as calm as you can, even if you fail. If you don't stay calm, you will end up messing up and you will become more frustrated at yourself. I was so glad to see that there were checkpoints in this. What I would say is do not play this game when you are tired, you will make mistakes. I tried this quite a few times after an 11 hour shift and it made it so much harder to play. There's 32 levels spread across 4 alternate dimensions. You can unlock different hats by collecting gold and purple coins. You need to activate power-ups to shrink yourself, launch yourself, bounce and accelerate the pug through the levels. For a game that you fail on so many times, usually you'd give up and you wouldn't go back to, but with this I found myself wanting to play it more and more each day. If you've played the game Trials, the motorbike game, it's very similar in the fact that it's all about trial and error. Learning from your mistakes to progress further. I was so determined to keep on going until I got to the next level. This is by far one of the hardest games I've ever played, but I really did enjoy it. I nearly ended up with a blister on my thumb from where I kept bashing the button and keeping my finger down so hard that I could make the jumps. It brought back memories from playing games when I was younger where I'd end up with blisters on my fingers from doing the same thing over and over. It didn't stop me playing, I carried on. The artwork is really well done and you can tell the developers have put a lot of effort into the animations in this game. Give this one a chance. Don't give up if you do get stuck playing on a level. Have a little break and go back to it. I can guarantee you'll get past the bit in the game you were stuck on. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time.